Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a shopper drop where I go through all of the new makeup on Trend Mood 1's Instagram and I tell you my thoughts on the products and whether or not I want to shop for them or drop them from my shopping list. So let's just get into it. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And we're gonna be talking about all new makeup today. So I'm going to be going over noteworthy products that have come out on Trend Mood or have been revealed on Trend Mood for the last month. And we're gonna kick it off with Morphe. Now I've already seen this palette. It is currently already available. This is the Morphe 35XO. It's available at Ulta stores right now. And the reason that I'm talking about it is because you guys know Morphe is my guilty pleasure and this palette y'all is so pretty in person. I love pinky mauvey tones and this is just all of that wrapped up in one palette. Is it completely unnecessary? Absolutely. When I get it, will I use it? Absolutely not. But I really, really want it. Like if somebody wanted to buy that for me for Christmas, I would not be upset because I think it is so stunning. But again, it's extremely, extremely unnecessary, but I'm very attracted to it. It. So if you are balling on a budget and you like these tones, this looks like it's a gorgeous palette. All right, let's keep scrolling, see what we come out with. Okay, so I thought that this was interesting. I'm not exactly sure if they are out now. Oh yeah, they are. It says they would be available October 25th. So that was a couple weeks ago. I'm like really far back at Trend Mood right now. These are from M -M 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 Mitchell. <laughs> and he's coming out with a cosmetic line called Made by Mitchell. And if you don't know, he is, I believe, a UK-based makeup artist who's very, very Instagram famous. He does crazy makeup looks. I don't, like, they're gorgeous. I do not have the talent to create the looks that he creates, but they are, like, fully pigmented, very, very dramatic makeup looks. I really am liking the look of that green palette. I'm dropping these from my list. There's no reason for me to have them. I don't really want them, but I thought they were very attractive and they definitely caught my eye. And I think it's amazing always to see an influencer come out with a cosmetic line, especially somebody who is more on the artistry side as well. I know we get really tired and myself included of all of these brands, but at the end of the day, this is such a big deal for these influencers to come out with their own brand. So it still is very exciting, even though it's like the hundredth one, but I definitely think this is very true to his brand. It makes sense for him to come out with a palette like this and I would say if I saw these palettes like at Ulta I would probably pick them up but that's not gonna happen thank goodness. So I'm dropping those from my list. Okay, let me scroll up. I think I'm really really far back. It's been a while since I filmed this video. So let's take a look at the ColourPop collection. Now this has also already been released but this is the Star Wars Baby Yoda collection and honestly this palette is really 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 cute. I did not end up purchasing it so I'm dropping it from my list but it's the kind of palette where I think I would pick it up in passing if I happen to make a pretty big order off of ColourPop. I would throw this palette in because normally I don't like to make a ton of little orders from ColourPop. I usually do like a big shopping trip from there and then I'll just put all of this stuff that I've kind of been eyeing for a while so I don't I'm not gonna say that I'll never purchase this palette but it wasn't something that I was running to get I don't watch Star Wars I'm not much of a Star Wars fan baby Yoda is adorable this palette is adorable and the color story is adorable but I just there's so much makeup going on I really have to be picky about what's worth my while as far as picking it up because if I pick up new makeup I stress myself out about filling reviews so I save my a little bit of stretch with this one but down the road I really love that color story so I'm dropping it from my list now but you might see it in the future. Morphe is collaborating with Nikita Dragon. I don't think we have a date on this yet or it actually might already be out. Anyways, I'm not personally into this color story at all. I will not be picking these items up. I've never tried Nikita's makeup line. She's come out with very few things, but I don't follow Nikita. I don't really know much about Nikita and these colors are just too deep for me. I like light, sparkly kind of colors, Right. This is just way too deep and grungy of a palette for my personal taste. So that is something that I do not have any interest in whatsoever. It's basically the complete opposite of the palette that I showed you at the beginning. So it does not appeal to me. You guys, I have been 
heavily eyeing this palette. I saw it at Ulta. This is a Juvia's Place holiday palette, I believe. This is called the Wahala 2 palette. And I've seen Karen Harris and Britt and I believe Heather Austin, they've all talked about this and Angie as well. <gasps> I really want this. I don't need it. There's a reason I haven't picked it up yet. I just, I don't need it. I love unnecessarily large eyeshadow palettes. I know so many of us are over it. I'm not over it. These have beautiful duochromes. So this is something that I do plan on picking up. I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that on Juvia's website, they will have a Black Friday sale and I want to pick this palette up. So even if this palette isn't on sale, there's a few palettes that I've been wanting from Juvia's. I'm starting to get into the eyeshadows that they have. I haven't purchased them too much in the past previously just because I have so many eyeshadows. I've been wanting Juvia eyeshadow palettes for so long that I think hopefully Black Friday they have a big sale because I do want to pick this up along with a few other palettes as well. I'm trying to do more Instagram tutorials and stuff as well so I get to feature more products that I might not feature in videos. So hopefully that works out for me. I really, really hope they have a good sale because I do want that palette. Okay, this was something I was highly, highly uninterested in. Makeup by Mario came out with a second launch. There were some quads as well, which I was personally not interested in. And we'll get to that as I scroll up. But the first one that they're showing on this Trend Mood page is this Pro Lip Palette. And I'm not against this Pro Lip Palette. I actually really like the colors. It's just not something that I need right now. If I bought it, it would be a completely redundant purchase. I was going through my kit a couple of weeks ago to kind of throw out the colors that I don't need or that are getting old. And while I don't think I would purchase this this year, if it had been a different year, like last year when I refreshed all my lips or maybe next year, I really do like the colors in this lip palette. But it's definitely completely unnecessary for me. And I know for a regular consumer who does not do makeup artistry, this is completely unnecessary. So it's definitely being dropped from my list. But I think maybe down the road, it would be something that I would consider if I was at that point where I needed to refresh my makeup kit. Always, there's always so many ColourPop collections to talk about. So they came out with the Bloom, Dark Blooms collection. I believe this is a collection that's also available at Ulta right now. Personally, this collection didn't really catch my eyes. I'm sure I could make some pretty looks with some of these palettes. They definitely have potential for sure. It's not an ugly collection, but they do come out with so much that sometimes I just, I can't pay it attention to all of the collections that they come out with. I don't want to look at this one too hard because I don't want to convince myself that I need it because at first glance I'm like okay I don't need it so I don't want <laughs> I don't want to convince myself that I do need it because if I stare at it any harder I know for a fact I will convince myself that I need it. Oh and here are the quads from the Makeup by Mario collection. I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on his formula and it is a nice formula. It's nothing spectacular so I don't really feel like I need these quads since I already have so many of his his shadows already so not really interested in those at all the lip glosses I was tempted to pick up one or two they looked really pretty but ultimately again I decided just to pass I already spent a few hundred on his first major launch of products that I'm still trying to make finalized decisions on so I didn't want to add too many more to that I don't know this launch wasn't that exciting for me if it was something that I would have purchased it would have definitely been for my channel and now that time has passed definitely don't need any of that so dropping that from my list Ooh, so this is what I want to talk about. Vizzy Art is supposed to come out with a collection of four eyeshadow quads and they slowly revealed one and then they revealed a second one. But here is what the first one looks like. And this looks stunning. And I feel bad because all of the comments on Trend Mood, which by the way, Trend Mood has a very negative comment section. I do not like it. Stay out of the comment section. People were saying how boring this palette is. I love it. I don't know. I'm very, very, very attracted to this little quad that we have going on here. I love these neutral caramel tones. I really like this a lot. Like this does something for me. They also revealed the second palette and this one is not as exciting as the first one. I think this one is a little bit more repetitive to what they already have in the line. I feel like this one is very, very dupable to what they already have. I don't care if shadows are dupable, but I do have a problem if it's like within the same line. So this one doesn't speak to me as much. I'm sure it's gorgeous. I love Izzy Arts Formula, so I probably want to own it. But that first kind of brown one 
that's all me. I love it. I would love to be wearing it right now on my eyes. I cannot wait for them to reveal the other two because me like what I see. And then I don't know if you saw Patrick Star. This is already available on the Sephora website, but he ha is coming out with a new setting powder. You guys might remember a few years back, he created a setting powder with MAC that was extremely hard to get hold of and he knows what he's doing with powders. I'm going to pass on this. It's not something that I need right now. Not something that's super interesting to me. I would love to try a sample of it. I did like the MAC powder that he came out with. I thought it was very good. I still use it from time to time when I'm not on camera because you guys can't pick it up. But it, I'm very interested to know about the formula more than anything and comparing it to the MAC formula to see what he did with that. So I'm interested, but at the moment it just would be a bit too much, a bit not what I need. You guys know how I feel about BH. I think they have the best, most affordable eyeshadows. I've talked about them for months and months about how great their shadows are. They do come out with a lot of eyeshadows, so I don't purchase every single one. I really like this large one. I'm loving all the large palettes that these brands are coming out with this time of year. I've heard very good things about that big palette as well. I'm not interested in the brushes or the little palette or the highlight palette, but that big palette has my name written all over it. I'm currently resisting. Again, if maybe they have a really good Black Friday sale or Cyber Monday it would be something that I would be interested in picking up. It's just the kind of thing where I want it and I would like it but I know it wouldn't be something that I would use and I get shamed all the time on my channel for having stuff that I don't use but keep shaming me because I keep buying stuff that I won't use because it makes me happy. Anyways, no, I do want that, but I'm still kind of on the fence. I want to see if I can get it for a good deal before I bite the bullet. I mean, it's not that expensive compared to what my crazy self <laughs> will spend on makeup, but it's like a big palette, so it would take up a lot of space in my collection and my storage. Um, hmm. What else is worth talking about? Oh, I don't know if you guys saw, but Kaleidos is coming out with a new highlighter. Some people have gotten it yet already. They're supposed to be sending it to me. I hope they do. I hope it comes soon. It looks gorgeous. I love the Kaleidos highlighters. I think they come out with the most unique and beautiful shades. This one looks awesome. I'm very interested to see how it would look on my skin and what lights it would look best and what situations it would look best. These are really, really fun products. I'm excited to see them continuing to create these very very innovative products. So this will be available November 9th. So that was two days ago. So this is available and definitely if you're looking for some cool highlighters, look onto Kaleidos' website. I believe right now they're having some pretty good sales for Black Friday. It's like early Black Friday, so maybe look into that because some of the palettes that they had were very, very good deals. So Dominique Cosmetics, I really like her channel. She seems to be very sweet. I've liked the eyeshadow palettes that she's come out with. So it looks like she has some lip glitz, lip duos coming out for the holidays. And these look like gorgeous gifts. I'm going to be dropping them from my list, but... I do think if there's a makeup lover in your life, this would be a really great, just nice little stocking stuffer gift. I like the look of the packaging. I like the clear rainbowy gloss looking one. This is just something very far from what I need, but it looks pretty, but I'm definitely not gonna pick that up. But whew, you know your girl is attracted to that. Oh, we have a new influencer makeup brand. Like I just said about Mama Mitchell, another one, but also very excited for her. That's such an exciting thing. And her collection, it looks like she just came out with some great neutral nudes that everybody loves, everybody needs. Um, I mean, we don't need... Those lipsticks kind of look Tom Ford-ish. This looks very, very high-end. I'm loving the black and gold vibe. So I really think she came out with a classy collection. I don't watch her too much. I'm gonna pass on this brand. There isn't really anything that stands out to me, but those lipsticks look stunning. Congratulations to her, that is awesome. Okay, so this is one of the main collections that I wanted to talk about. Raw Beauty Christie, she came out with a ColourPop collection. I feel like we were all waiting for it. When she came out with her Pure collection, we were all like, ColourPop would've been, would've been better. <sighs> I don't think Christie and I have the same taste in colors. These mattes are too grungy for me. When I first saw the palette, I was like, 
I love Christy, but I, the palette has definitely grown on me. The longer I've stared at it, the more I've seen swatches and the looks created, I'm way more excited for this palette. I definitely, definitely plan on picking up this collection. I love that she came out with some unique cream gel liners. This year, I have loved playing around with different eyeliners on my eyes and my waterline, so I'm excited that she is kind of bringing that element into her collection. So I'm, I'm considering purchasing the whole collection. I don't know how much. $82. You know what? I, th I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and do it. By the time you guys are watching this, it would have already passed, so hopefully I secured it. But like I said, I really didn't like the colors in the Pure Palette when I saw this one. I there were The grungy matte tones, again, are in this one that was also in the Pure Palette, and I'm just not feeling it. But I like ColourPop's formula better, and the color story has definitely grown on me the more I've stared at it. I, I see some potential there. I really do. So she has had quite a year. I'm glad one of us had a good deal. I will be picking that up, though. That will be shocked. Wayne Goss is coming out with a new palette. I do have some opinions on this. Overall, quick thoughts. I love this palette. I love creating a certain look. You know, I love that shimmery blue all over the lid with grays and peaches in the crease. I've done that many, many times on my channel before. So I felt like when I saw this, I was like, this was made for me. This is the kind of look that I like to do. Of course, there are a few downsides to this palette. I do think his pan sizes are too big. I think for the money that we're paying, there's so many people who would just prefer to get more shades and smaller pans. Um, he did say in his reveal video, you know, that he wanted big pans, lots of product. I don't know. People on the internet who watch makeup videos a lot of times have a lot of makeup. Like 99% of my comments, all of us agree that we would like smaller pan sizes. And especially since there's only six shades and then there's another black. Well, I do think a black was necessary for this palette and for this color story. We got a black in his last palette. There's only six shades. It's a lot of money. <laughs> I love Wayne. I really, really do. But I do hope he takes our feedback because I know just from the comments on my video that a lot of you guys feel the same way that I feel and love the colors, love the quality of his line. But I do think from a consumer standpoint that there are some things that would be more helpful to the consumer. But I do love this color story. It definitely is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. His first palette was so wearable, but this is a glam palette and I'm here for it. I will definitely be picking it up and reviewing it for you guys. I love love the color story here. Um, okay, you guys have tagged me in this a lot, especially I think since I did my Huda review recently and then my Huda Beauty ranking recently. This was all on your guys' mind, but they are releasing a gold Obsessions eyeshadow palette specifically to Cult Beauty. I do think I'm going to pass on this. I don't know. I'm not that excited about it. I've got to be honest. It looks really pretty. I love me a good gold, but I'm kind of hooded out right now. I feel like I just bought those three other quads and then I bought the big non naughty nudes and then I did my reviews and then I did my rankings so I'm like I'm ready to move on from Huda on my channel so I do think I'm going to drop this from my list but it does look like it's going to be available very soon if you are interested in it. I don't know maybe if I can see myself the day of just being on the computer already and being like, you know what, I'll just pick it up. But as of now, I, I have zero plans of picking that up. This will be the last one for all of my Fenty fans. It looks like Fenty's coming out with a couple of new shades of the Diamond Bonds. Definitely not shopping these. I bought one. I fell into the hype. It's cute, but it's not worth the money. $40. It's $40. Not worth the money. Um, I don't know. It's it's like a glittery product. I don't know. I don't know. I never use the one that I have. So, so I have I have zero interest in that. Alrighty guys, that is all I have for this month's shopper drop. Usually I try to do these more frequently, but usually I end up doing them like once a month. That is all I have for this month's shopper drop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so. There's a lot of products that I talked about on this video that I will be reviewing for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.